In physics, the world line of an object is the path of that object in four-dimensional space-time, tracing the history of its location in space at each instant in time. The concept of world line is distinguished from the concept of orbit, or trajectory by the time dimension, and typically encompasses a large area of space-time where imperceptually straight paths are recalculated to show their more absolute position states a euro to reveal the nature of special relativity or gravitational interactions. The idea of world lines originates in physics and was pioneered by Hermann Minkowski. The term is now most often used in relativity theories. However, world lines are a general way of representing the course of events. The use of it is not bound to any specific theory. Thus in general usage, a world line is the sequential path of personal human events that marks the history of a person a euro perhaps starting at the time and place of one's birth until one's death. The logbook of a ship is a description of the ship's world line, as long as it contains a time tag attached to every position. The world line allows one to calculate the speed of the ship, given a measure of distance appropriate for the curved surface of the Earth. Usage in physics In physics, a world line of an object is the sequence of space-time events corresponding to the history of the object. A world line is a special type of curve in space-time. Below an equivalent definition will be explained, a world line is a time-like curve in space-time. Each point of a world line is an event that can be labeled with the time and the spatial position of the object at that time. For example, the orbit of the Earth in space is approximately a circle, a three-dimensional curve in space, the Earth returns every year to the same point in space. However, it arrives there at a different time. The world line of the Earth is helical in space-time and does not return to the same point. Space-time is the collection of points called events together with a continuous and smooth coordinate system identifying the events. Each event can be labeled by four numbers, a time coordinate and three space coordinates. Thus space-time is a four-dimensional space. The mathematical term for space-time is a four-dimensional manifold. The concept may be applied as well to a higher-dimensional space. For easy visualizations of four dimensions, Two space coordinates are often suppressed. The event is then represented by a point in the Minkowski diagram, which is a plane usually plotted with the time coordinate, say, upwards and the space coordinate, say horizontally. As expressed by F. R. Harvey, A curve M in, space time is called a world line of a particle if its tangent is future time like at each point. The arc length parameter is called proper time and usually denoted I. The length of M is called the proper time of the world line or particle. If the world line M is a line segment, then the particle is said to be in free fall. A world line traces out the path of a single point in space-time. A world sheet is the analogous two-dimensional surface traced out by a one-dimensional line traveling through space-time. The world sheet of an open string is a strip. That of a closed string is a volume. Once the object is not approximated as a mere point but has extended volume, it traces out not a world line but rather a world tube. World lines as a tool to describe events. A one-dimensional line or curve can be represented by the coordinates as a function of one parameter. Each value of the parameter corresponds to a point in space-time and varying the parameter traces out a line. So in mathematical terms a curve is defined by four coordinate functions depending on one parameter. A coordinate grid in space-time is the set of curves one obtains if three out of four coordinate functions are set to a constant. Sometimes, the term world line is loosely used for any curve in space-time. This terminology causes confusions. More properly, a world line is a curve in space-time which traces out the history of a particle, observer or small object. One usually takes the proper time of an object or an observer as the curve parameter along the world line. Equals trivial examples of space-time curves equals. A curve that consists of a horizontal line segment, may represent a rod in space-time and would not be a world line in the proper sense. The parameter traces the length of the rod. A line at constant space coordinate may represent a particle at rest. A tilted line represents a particle with a constant coordinate speed. The more the line is tilted from the vertical, the larger the speed. 
two world lines that start out separately and then intersect, signify a collision or encounter. Two world lines starting at the same event in space-time, each following its own path afterwards, may represent the decay of a particle into two others or the emission of one particle by another. World lines of a particle and an observer may be interconnected with a world line of a photon and form a diagram which depicts the emission of a photon by a particle which is subsequently observed by the observer. Equals tangent vector to a world line, four velocity equals, the four coordinate functions defining a world line, are real functions of a real variable and can simply be differentiated in the usual calculus. Without the existence of a metric one can speak of the difference between a point on the curve at the parameter value and a point on the curve a little farther away. In the limit, this difference divided by defines a vector, the tangent vector of the world line at the point. It is a four-dimensional vector, defined in the point. It is associated with the normal three-dimensional velocity of the object and therefore called four velocity, or in components. Where the derivatives are taken at the point, so at. All curves through point P have a tangent vector, not only world lines. The sum of two vectors is again a tangent vector to some other curve and the same holds for multiplying by a scalar. Therefore, all tangent vectors in a point P span a linear space, called the tangent space at point P. For example, taking a two-dimensional space, like the surface of the Earth, its tangent space at a specific point would be the flat approximation of the curved space. World lines in special relativity, so far a world line has been described without a means of quantifying the interval between events. The basic mathematics is as follows, the theory of special relativity puts some constraints on possible world lines. In special relativity the description of space-time is limited to special coordinate systems that do not accelerate, called inertial coordinate systems. In such coordinate systems, the speed of light is a constant. The structure of space-time is determined by a bilinear form I which gives a real number for each pair of events. The bilinear form is sometimes called a space-time metric, but since distinct events sometimes result in a zero value, Unlike metrics in metric spaces of mathematics, the bilinear form is not a mathematical metric on spacetime. World lines of particles objects at constant speed are called geodesics. In special relativity these are straight lines in Minkowski space. Often the time units are chosen such that the speed of light is represented by lines at a fixed angle, usually at 45 degrees, forming a cone with a vertical axis. In general, Useful curves in space-time can be of three types, light-like curves, having at each point the speed of light. They form a cone in space-time, dividing it into two parts. The cone is three-dimensional in space-time, appears as a line in drawings with two dimensions suppressed, and as a cone in drawings with one spatial dimension suppressed. Time-like curves, with a speed less than the speed of light. These curves must fall within a cone defined by light-like curves. In our definition above, world lines are time-like curves in space-time. Space-like curves falling outside the light cone. Such curves may describe, for example, the length of a physical object. The circumference of a cylinder and the length of a rod are space-like curves. At a given event on a world line, space-time is divided into three parts. The future of the given event is formed by all events that can be reached through time-like curves lying within the future light cone. The past of the given event is formed by all events that can influence the event. The light cone at the given event is formed by all events that can be connected through light rays with the event. When we observe the sky at night, we basically see only the past light cone within the entire space-time. Elsewhere is the region between the two light cones. Points in an observer's elsewhere are inaccessible to her him. Only points in the past can send signals to the observer. In ordinary laboratory experience, using common units and methods of measurement, it may seem that we look at the present, but in fact there is always a delay time for light to propagate. For example, we see the sun as it was about eight minutes ago, not as it is right now. Unlike the present in Galilean Newtonian theory, the elsewhere is thick. It is not a three-dimensional volume but is instead a four-dimensional space-time region. 
included in elsewhere is the simultaneous hyperplane, which is defined for a given observer by a space which is hyperbolic orthogonal to her his world line. It is really three-dimensional, though it would be a two-plane in the diagram because we had to throw away one dimension to make an intelligible picture. Although the light cones are the same for all observers at a given space-time event, different observers, with differing velocities but coincident to the event in the space-time, have world lines that cross each other at an angle determined by their relative velocities, and thus they have different simultaneous hyperplanes. The present often means the single space-time event being considered. Equals simultaneous hyperplane equals, since a world line determines a velocity for vector that is time-like, the Minkowski form determines a linear function by let n be the null space of this linear functional. Then n is called the simultaneous hyperplane with respect to v. The relativity of simultaneity is a statement that n depends on v. Indeed, n is the orthogonal complement of v with respect to i. When two world lines u and w are related by then they share the same simultaneous hyperplane. This hyperplane exists mathematically, but physical relations in relativity involve the movement of information by light. For instance, the traditional electrostatic force described by Coulomb's law may be pictured in a simultaneous hyperplane, but relativistic relations of charge and force involve retarded potentials. World lines and general relativity The use of world lines and general relativity is basically the same as in special relativity, with the difference that space-time can be curved. A metric exists and its dynamics are determined by the Einstein field equations and are dependent on the mass-energy distribution in space-time. Again the metric defines light-like, space-like and time-like curves. Also, in general relativity, world lines are time-like curves in space-time, where time-like curves fall within a light cone. However, a light cone is not necessarily inclined at 45 degrees to the time axis. However, this is an artifact of the chosen coordinate system, and reflects the coordinate freedom of general relativity. Any time-like curve admits a Ku-moving observer whose time axis corresponds to that curve, and, since no observer is privileged, we can always find a local coordinate system in which light cones are inclined at 45 degrees to the time axis. See also for example Eddington-Finkelstein coordinates. World lines of free-falling particles or objects are called geodesics. World lines in literature. In 1884 C. H. Hinton wrote an essay, What is the Fourth Dimension? which he published as a scientific romance. He wrote, Why, then, should not the four-dimensional beings be ourselves, and our successive states the passing of them through the three-dimensional space to which our consciousness is confined? A popular description of human world lines was given by J. C. Fields at the University of Toronto in the early days of relativity. As described by Toronto lawyer Norman Robertson, I remember, Fields lecturing at one of the Saturday evening lectures at the Royal Canadian Institute. It was advertised to be a mathematical fantasy a euro, and it was. The substance of the exercise was as follows, he postulated that, commencing with his birth, Every human being had some kind of spiritual aura with a long filament or thread attached, that travelled behind him throughout his life. He then proceeded in imagination to describe the complicated entanglement every individual became involved in his relationship to other individuals, comparing the simple entanglements of youth to those complicated knots that develop in later life. Because they oversimplify world lines, which traverse four dimensional space time, into one dimensional timelines. Almost all purported science fiction stories about time travel are actually wishful fantasy stories. Some device or superpowered person is generally portrayed as departing from one point in time, and with little or no subjective lag, arriving at some other point in time a euro, but at the same literally geographic point in space, typically inside a workshop or near some historic site. However, in reality, the planet, its solar system, and its galaxy would all be at vastly different spatial positions on arrival. Thus, the time travel mechanism would also have to provide instantaneous teleportation, with infinitely accurate and simultaneous adjustment of final 3D location, linear momentum, and angular momentum. 
Wild Lines appeared in Jeffrey Rowland's weak comic Wig Eye Adventures as part of the Magical Adventures in Space side storyline, in which Tapacho Potato and Sheriff Pony accidentally delete a world line relating to the initial creation of Earth from asteroids, causing the Earth to never have existed. According to this weak comic, calculating the exact coordinates of a world line is embarrassingly simple, and the deletion of the world line specified is executed by making a call and entering the coordinates of the world line, and pressing 3. Author Oliver Franklin published a science fiction work in 2008 entitled World Lines in which he related a simplified explanation of the hypothesis for Lehman. In the short story Lifeline, author Robert A. Heinlein describes the world line of a person, he stepped up to one of the reporters. Suppose we take you as an example. Your name is Rogers, is it not? Very well, Rogers, you are a space-time event having duration four ways. You are not quite six feet tall, you are about twenty inches wide and perhaps ten inches thick. In time, there stretches behind you more of this space-time event, reaching to perhaps 1916, of which we see a cross-section here at right angles to the time axis, and as thick as the present. At the far end is a baby, smelling of sour milk and drooling its breakfast on its bib. At the other end lies, perhaps, an old man someplace in the 1980s. Imagine this space-time event that we call Rogers as a long pink worm, continuous through the years, one end in his mother's womb, and the other at the grave. Hainland's Methuselah's children uses the term, as does James Blish's The Quincunx of Time. A visual novel named Stein's Gate, produced by 5PB, tells a story based on the shifting of world lines. Its series of works under the name Hypothetical Science ADV also utilized the concept. See also, specific types of world lines, geodesics, closed timelike curves, causal structure, curves that represent a variety of different types of world line. Feynman diagram, time geography. References Minkowski, Hermann, Roman Ziet, Physikalisch Zeitschrift 10, 75 Euro 88. Various English translations on Wikisus, Space and Time. Ludwig Silberstein Theory of Relativity, p. 130, Macmillan and Company. External links, World Lines article on H2G2, in-depth text on World Lines and Special Relativity.